all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withereth, and the flower thereof falleth away. But the word of the Lord endureth forever, and this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. 1 Peter 1, 24 and 25. Welcome to Philadelphia Christian Church, and we thank you for choosing Philadelphia to worship. We would like to welcome all first-time visitors. Make yourself at home. And for those who are from out of state, please check out our Welcome Center in the foyer for a token of love to you. For our online family tuning in, we pray the presence of God would be in your home or wherever you are. The nursing home ministry is today and will be at Magnolia State's Nursing Home located off of Dulles Drive. Arrive at 145 for prayer. Come be among the elderly silver saints who still need to hear the word of God and receive the gospel of our Lord, Jesus Christ. This week, Saints, is a regular week at Philadelphia with Monday through Friday, noonday prayer. If you're available on your lunch break, stop by and stand in agreement with the Saints in praying for the world, the United States, Louisiana, and the church. Tuesday Bible study will be at 7 p.m. Join us. If you missed last Bible study, download the Philly app right from your app store. It's available on Android or Apple devices. Just search for PCC Lafayette. A school of prayer will be at 6.15 p.m. on Thursday evening. Be with us for corporate prayer and learn how to pray and stand in agreement with the saints. This is where many of us learn how to pray to the Father out loud and how to come boldly before his throne of grace. See you there. Man, y'all, didn't we have an awesome time tonight at Fire Ministry kicking back off our second part of the year? Yes, it was. Man. Good food, good fellowship, and the gospel. And we had the testimonies that have set people free tonight. Man. So y'all don't miss out this upcoming Thursday. We're going to get back into our series, Winning the Battle for Your Mind. Starting next week, we're going to be on the topic of freeing your mind. Thursday, 7 o'clock. Come on out. See you there. The Fire Ministry, Reignite the Fire, on Thursdays this October after School of Prayer here at Philadelphia. The HFL Hebrew flag football season is here and the season has started on Friday nights. For the men's teams will be at Moore Park, 250 Corret Drive in Lafayette, beginning at 6.30 p.m. The kids and women games will be held on Sunday evening starting at 4 p.m. for the kids and 5 p.m. for the women. See you in the end zone or in the stands. And let's take a moment and check out our next Philly testimony. What's up, Philly? I told y'all, all morning, we're going to be getting people, just getting their little testimony on how they came to uh, Philadelphia. Hey, T. John, I can borrow that jacket, man. You love it. You sure? Yeah, you can have it. All right, I'm, I'm coming get it after uh, we leave here. It's I'm yours. serious. It's yours. But nah, man, on a serious note, I just wanted to ask you, who was the first person to invite you to Philadelphia? Uh, actually, my brother, uh, well, it's two of my brothers and stuff like that. It was crazy. Um... It was a wedding, their 10-year anniversary, and uh, I was supposed to be in it. So happened, financially little problems. I sat down, and a uh, pastor preached the word, and it was a wedding that got me coming over here. I got you. So one last question for you. When you decided to come, what was your first experience like at Philadelphia? It was, it was changing. I mean, it just hear yeah, a man of God preaching like that and just telling me about myself and not actually not him but just hearing somebody preach to tell you about yourself and who you really is and just showing me who I really am. I got you. Well look, I appreciate y'all time. Man, thank you. Thank you, sir. That's good. Love, you. Love you too. <laughs> See, Philly. Y'all say what's up to Kingdom Jews? Kingdom Jews? Y'all say what's up to Philly? Hello. What's up Philly? Listen, I got the question of the day for you. And the question of the day is, who was the first person to invite you to Philly? Kaisley and Lukop. I got you. Mm -hmm. I, got, I got one more question. Mm -hmm. When you first decided to come to Philly full time, what was that experience like the first time? Uh, the first time, um, it was summer of 2016. And uh, I had been praying for a church home because I, I relocated from Baton Rouge. So I had been praying and praying and when I was invited, um, I came for Bible study, and I, I just never left. I never left. I, I knew that this was the place that God had called me to. Yeah, so it, it was an amazing experience. Uh, I remember the worship, and I just remember the feeling of, like, you know, just everybody 
just his spirit, you know, in this place. And that's really what drew me and what's kept me here. I, I got you. And I appreciate the time. Philly, Kingdom Jews. Right now, it's time for the good news of the week. Let's give an awesome congratulations to the Benoit family who will be celebrating 52 years of marriage. Mr. and Mrs. Russell and Mary Benoit, happy anniversary and may the Lord continue to shower you with all of his love, health and blessings forevermore. The family would like to wish a happy belated birthday to Cortland Glover, who turned 19 years old on Sunday, October the 6th. Cortland says that God guides the humble. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. Happy birthday, Cortland, better known as Coco. Love dad, mom, and family. Let's give a happy 31st birthday to Brittany Arsenault on October 10th. May God be with you on this special day, and may your days be filled with love, peace, and happiness. Love mom, dad, Brandy, and Brelaney. Let's give a happy 10th year birthday to Lil' Kip. Love mom, dad, and Eliana. Happy birthday. Happy 31st birthday to Victoria, celebrated on October 12th from your boys, Aiden, Jace, and Mason. For your good news to be featured on the Good News of the Week, please email to phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. That's phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. We must receive it by 3 p.m. on Thursdays to be featured on Sundays and Tuesdays announcements. Well, Philly family, those were your announcements. Stand to your feet. It's worship time. <laughs> 